here's the video review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Sideswipe. Um, he does come with Sergeant Epps. Um, and before we get into the main figure, let's talk about Sergeant Epps. Um, kind of looks like Therese Gibson if he were, like, staring off blankly at something. Um, but not great. Um, but he really seems, I don't know if it's just he's got long legs, or if he really got shafted in the torso department. It's just his torso looks really, almost like he's wearing a diaper. And, and I realize that if you look close, you can tell it's just because of the way they sculpted, uh, the way his jacket with his ammo belt around it, um, but it, it, it does not do the figure any favors, um, the way this, the way the torso sculpt is. The arms and legs are fine, um, even, even the head, I think, is a, it's, while it's not quite as accurate as Shia LaBeouf, some, it's not a bad head sculpt, it's just this torso looks really cluttered and bulky and just looks weird. Um, but posability-wise, he's got all the same points that Shia did, no elbows, um, but a decent little, uh, Sergeant Epps figure. Let me just uh, get a quick comparison. There he is next to uh, Sam. But anyway, on to Sideswipe. Um, he's the uh, concept Corvette. Um, his exhaust pipes go in and out just like they do on the uh, deluxe toy. Um, there's a quick look underneath. You can see how his arms are, blades are folded up. Um, there's the chest. Um, the feet up here. Um, his doors open, and they open like that which is kind of cool. I've always like cars that have doors that open like that. Inside of the two seats, you can see a missile launcher here. Um, you can see the two seats. Um, there is a pseudo dashboard kind of in there, a steering wheel, um, but you can see there's a lot of stuff in the middle there that's not accurate to the actual car. Um, but they do have the disc brakes inside the wheels, which I think is a nice little, nice little touch. Just a quick size comparison. I'll show them off with a uh, there's Human Alliance Bumblebee. There's Human Alliance Sideswipe. Bumblebee's a little thicker here, but uh, lengthwise they're about the same. Uh, Bumblebee's a little taller overall. Um, but they look like they could be fairly accurate to each other size-wise. On to transformation. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to pop this back piece up. And it takes a little bit of finagling here to get this. You just want to spin this around. Uh, go ahead and fold up the uh, exhaust pipes as well up into there. Spin that around. Go ahead and open the doors. That'll give you a little bit of clearance. Um, just like that. And then um, I'm going to swing this gun out like this. And you can this missile pops out. Um, we'll get to the, that in a little bit. Um, and then you want to come under here. You don't have to do this first, but if you take these side pieces and just kind of push them in and pop them out first, that'll help a little bit. Um, then you want to wiggle the arms out here. Uh, there's not a whole lot of clearance here for the arms, so you just kind of have to pull them out. Um, the forearms are hollow, um, but most of the time when you're posing them, you're not going to see that. Um, pull these out, just pull them straight out to the side. And the instructions say to rotate these down like this, and then the hands as well. Uh, his fingers are poseable individually. Um, the, these two are together, but they, they move on a hinge, and then there's this one. And these are soft rubber blades there on his arms. But rotate them out like that. And then you're going to take this whole piece here and pull it up like this, so it's like that. And then you can push the bottom here. You can push his head up. I get it, get the arm all the way out of the way there. You go and push his head up through here. And look at his face there. Um, some people said he has a goofy grin and he really doesn't. Um, it looks a lot better in person. You're going to hear me say that a few times during this review. Um, then the, the seats, uh, you can leave this back here like this for Epps to sit on and operate this gun. Um, same with this. You can flip that up and have him sit there on top of the missile launcher. Um, you can also flip it up, fold it around, bring that missile launcher up, and then just fold the seat up completely and kind of push it down and hide it back there, which is what I like to do. 
uh, for the thing. He will still have the shoulder gun over here. Um, but And if you want, you can also kind of fold this cannon down and hide it in robot mode as well. But I like to have it sticking up over his shoulder like that. And with the arms out, rotate them around and down. And then the forearms in like that. Um, and then you can bring them down and we have his arms. Then we're going to take this. We're going to pop his legs out here. We're going to grab the front of the hood. Pop his legs up. Now this whole piece is going to come up. We're going to collapse this, plug it in like that, and um, his torso is done. Um, this piece um, is going to come up. These panels right here, actually, you're going to fold uh, the grill of the car up into that. And then these pieces are designed to, uh, at least according to the instructions, are intended to kind of come in here and hold that piece up. And see how that kind of hooks under the wheel well there. And snaps the backpack in place. It doesn't do a great job of holding it in place, but yeah, what can you do? Um, and so he does have a pretty decent sized backpack. Um, a lot a lot like the, the Deluxe does, but we'll show it. Uh, it's a little bit more kibbly, um, but so not quite as string accurate, but not bad. I'm going to slide this down like that. And then he does have his little get your fingernails under there, his little horns. They're not quite as pronounced as they are on the Deluxe, but he does have a couple little panels that fold out there on his waist. And um, then the legs, you flip the uh, wheel down and flip this foot out. And then you want to take this panel down, flip this, uh, flip this again, flip this foot panel down and around, uh, down like this, so it's flat like that, and then flip this whole panel over, and then just rotate the wheel so that tab snaps in. There's a little tab tab here that's going to snap into one of these wheel wells. Just twist it until it snaps. And there you go. There's his foot. We'll do the same over on this side. Clip it down. Uh, fold the foot out. Uh, I guess we'll release a support piece. Um, do the same over here. Flip it over. And snap it together. And then just, again, just like before, rotate it until it snaps into the wheel there. Just like that. Um, and then you can extend the legs like that. There's a neat little piston system in the back of his leg there. And stand him up. Uh, you can split his legs a little bit. Um, give him a little bit more posability. And straighten his legs up. Uh, bring the doors up. You can position the doors however you want. I might like to have them spread out just a little bit. Stand them up, and well, there we go. And there you are, you're done. Um, there's Human Alliance Sideswipe in robot mode. Uh, like I said, drawbacks, he does have the giant backpack. Just the way it is. I'll extend his legs all the way here. Um, it, it, it's it's not as bad in person, but it, I mean, like, I say that. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be from pictures, but it is still, I mean, it is a giant backpack. And there's different ways. You can, you can, if you want, you can slide it down here so it doesn't stick out quite as much, but then you're going to see it from the front a lot more. Um, so it's really how you choose to display them. There, there's some things that can be done with it, um, but really, any way you pose it, it's going to get in the way a little bit. It, it, it is a giant backpack. It's uh, kind of disappointing. Um, I'm still happy with the figure, but I would have liked to have seen maybe a little bit more collapsing of that backpack because, you know, here he is next to the Deluxe. And while the Deluxe also does have a bunch of car on the back of him, almost about as much car as he has, um, it folds up a lot better. It compacts a little bit. And like I said, it looks okay on, on the Deluxe. But just to get an idea there, there's the uh, Deluxe and the Human Alliance side by side. Um, and again, you can have Epps sit in all different places over him. The Human Alliance figures, um, I generally don't... Um, stick in the car or on the robot mode. I just kind of display them with them. Uh, to, just to get an idea there. Um, we'll say him. And then just another real quick comparison here. Uh, here he is with Human Alliance Bumblebee. Um, I switched the legs back, or maybe this is one I didn't switch the legs on, I don't know. Um, so this one doesn't have the leg mod done to it, but it does have the hand mod. Um, but you can see Bumblebee is bigger by about a head. 
so the top of Swartai's head comes up to about eh, Bumblebee's mouth plate. Um, so yeah, Bumblebee overall is a, is a bigger figure, but uh, coming from a smaller car, yeah, it's kind of to be expected. Also, that missile we took out earlier, you can uh, push here in the missile launcher, and it launches. It launches all right. It's not super far, but it, it, it goes a pretty good distance uh, when you launch it. So overall, like, like I said, when I started seeing pictures, I started to worry about Human Alliance side swipe. But in person, a much better figure. He does have that giant backpack, um, and, it, and it is something I would consider to be a flaw. It's not, it's not bad. It, it's, it's not super bad, but it's not perfect either. And I know that's going to turn some people off of the figure. Um, and if it is, so be it. I, I like him well enough. Um, I think if you're going to get one Human Alliance figure of these two, get Bumblebee. Especially with the hand mod, he's an awesome figure. And even without the hand mod, with just the cannon. Human Alliance Bumblebee is by far the better of these two figures. Um, which is kind of a shame, because, you know, Sideswipe looks pretty cool, uh, concept-wise. But the toy just doesn't really pull it off. Um, definitely worthy, to, if you're collecting the Human Alliance line, it's worth having. Um, but if you can only afford one, get Bumblebee. I, I really think he's the better of the two. And uh, when Skids gets here, I'll, I'll determine who's better then of the three but um there you have it um quick review there or like is it longer review there but anyway review of human alliance sideswipe